in this presentation on number system we are going to talk about divisibility we are going to start this presentation with the definition of divisibility so if we have a non zero integer a then that integer is said to divide another integer b the definition says that if there exists an integer c such that b is equal to ac then we are saying that a divides b so if we consider an example over here we are saying that we will say 3 divides 36 because there is an integer 12 we can find an integer 12 or we are saying there exists an integer 12 such that we have 3 into 12 that is equal to 36 so we are saying that 3 divides 36 and whenever an integer a divides b we write it in this form this is the notation we have for a divides b and if a does not divide b then the notation we have it is in this form now from these three terms we have uh, these three numbers over here we are having the number b a and c now this number b that we have over here the integer b it is called the dividend the integer a is called the divisor and the number that we have obtained this number c we are saying it is known as the quotient now next we have two terms one is the term factor and second is the term multiple so we are saying a number is a factor of another number if the former number exactly divides the later so if we consider the example we are saying 3 is a factor of 12 because we have 3 divides 12 similarly if we have 5 divides 25 then we are saying 5 is a factor of 25 another term we have over here it is multiple so in multiple is a number which is exactly divisible by another number so if we look at an example over here we are again considering this thing we are saying 3 divides 12 so we can also we are in this first case we are saying 3 divides 12 so we can say 3 is a factor of 12 or in terms of multiple we are saying 12 is a multiple of 3 similarly when we are saying 5 divides 25 one thing we are saying is that 5 is a factor of 25 or we can say that 25 is a multiple of 5 so if we look at this condition in this form we are saying we have 3 into 4 is equal to 12 so if we are talking about this number 3 we are saying it is a factor of 12 when we are talking about this number 4 we are saying it is a factor of 12 or we can say this number 12 it is multiple of 4 because we are saying 3 divides 12 and uh, 4 divides 12 so 12 is a multiple of 4 and 12 is a multiple of 3 so these are the terms that we use it is these two terms the factor and the multiple now the next terms we have they are even numbers and the odd numbers so even numbers they are all integers which are multiple of 2 they are called the even numbers so multiple of 2 means if we are saying 2 multiplied by 0 we obtain it is 0 if we are talking about 2 into 1 it is 2 2 into 2 it is 4 2 into 3 it is 6 we can continue in this way or we are saying 2 into minus 1 it is minus 2 we have 2 into minus 2 it is minus 4 2 into minus 3 it is minus 6 so we are saying the multiples of 2 means we are having the number 0 2 4 6 and so on or it is minus 2 minus 4 minus 6 so on 
so all these numbers which are multiple of 2 they are called the even numbers next we have is odd numbers so all the integers which are not multiple of 2 they are called the odd numbers so which integers are left from this list we are saying these are the integers which are multiple of 2 now the integers which are not multiple of 2 they are 1 3 5 so on and then the negative integers we have they are minus 1 minus 3 minus 5 and so on so these are the definitions for even numbers and odd numbers now the next term we have it is prime number and composite number so before we look at the definition of prime and composite numbers uh, let us list the factors of certain numbers suppose i am talking about the factor of number 1 so there is only one factor it is 1 when we are talking about factors of 2 we have two factors 1 and 2 factors of 3 we have 1 and 3 factors of 4 we have 1 2 and 4 factors of 5 we have it is 1 and 5 factors of 6 we have it is 1 2 3 6 factors of 7 we have it is 1 7 factors of 8 we have it is 1 2 4 8 now if we look at the number of factors over here we are saying corresponding to the factors of 2 there are two factors corresponding to this number 3 there are two factors corresponding to this number 5 we have two factors corresponding to this number 7 we have two factors so all these natural numbers that have exactly two factors one is the number 1 and another number is the that number itself these numbers are called the prime numbers so if we list the prime numbers they are 2 3 5 7 11 13 17 19 23 and so on now the definition now we come to the definition of composite numbers so it is important to note over here that we are not saying the numbers which are not prime are composite the definition for composite numbers is that all natural numbers which have more than two factors they are called the composite numbers we are saying prime numbers are those which have exactly two factors and composite are those which have more than two factors so when we are saying more than two factors we can see that this number four this number six this number eight all these numbers they have more than two factors so the composite the list of composite numbers we have it is it includes 4 6 8 9 10 12 and so on now an interesting thing that we can note over here is that one is the number look at this number one over here it has exactly one factor this number one has exactly one factor so we are saying that one is neither a prime number nor a composite number because prime numbers are those which have exactly two factors composite are those which have more than two factor but one is a number which has exactly one factor and that is why it is neither a prime number nor a composite number now next we have is the identification of primes so identification of prime means we are going to find whether a given number is a prime number or not suppose i am talking about a number say 571 and i have to check whether this is a prime number or not so one procedure is that i am going to check whether 2 divides 571 then i will check 3 divides 571 then i will check 4 divides 571 then i will check 5 divides 571 or not and i will continue in this way to find the factors of this number 571 so this list will be a this procedure this will take a lot of time so in place of 
checking the divisibility with all these numbers we have a procedure over here in which we are saying the first step we have is we have to calculate the approximate square root of the given number so in this particular case we are saying the approximate square root of this number 571 we have it is 24 in the next step we are saying we divide the given number by prime numbers less than equal to the approximate square root of the given number so if we list the prime numbers less than equal to 24 then these numbers are 2 3 5 7 11 13 17 19 and 23 so the procedure says that if the given number is not divisible by any of the prime numbers then the number is a prime number otherwise not so what our procedure says is that we have to check in place of checking the divisibility with all these numbers we have to check the divisibility of the number 571 by 2 we have to check whether 2 divides 571 we have to check 3 divides 571 we have to check 5 divides 571 we have to check 7 divides 571 and if you check the divisibility with all these primes in this particular case you will you can check that 571 it is not divisible by any of these prime numbers so by using this method uh, in view of this method we are saying that 571 is a prime number and if 571 is divisible by any of these numbers if any number is there which is divisible by any number any prime number which is less than equal to the approximate square root of that number then that given number will not be a prime number the next term we have it is hcf so hcf means we are talking about it is h is for highest c is for common and f is for factor so we are going to understand what hcf means so suppose we are considering the numbers we are talking about the numbers 8 and 12 so if i list the factors of 8 we have the factors are 1 2 4 and 8 if we list the factors of 12 then we have they are 1 2 3 4 6 and 12 now what this name suggests we are talking about the factors then we are talking about the common factors we have we are talking about common factors now if we calculate the common factor of these two the common factors we have over here this one is common over here two is common over here this four is common over here so we are saying the common factors we have over here they are one two and four now we have calculated factor factors of the number we have calculated the common factors now we have to see or find the highest of these common factors so we are saying the highest of all these common factors it is 4 so for any two given numbers we can adopt this procedure to find the highest common factor the next term we have it is the least uh, lcm lcm means least common multiple now again look at this term over here we are talking about multiple if suppose again i am considering the two numbers one is this number 8 and the one is the number 12 so first of all we are going to find the multiples or write the multiples of 8 so multiples of 8 they are 8 16 24 32 40 48 56 64 72 80 88 and 96 if we write the multiples of 12 multiples of 12 we have they are 12 24 36 48 60 72 84 96 108 and so on now we have calculated the 
we have written over here the multiples of both the numbers 8 and 12 we want to find the lcm so next step we have is we have to find the common multiples now if we look at the common multiples over here it is 24 in this list we have 24 in this list the first common multiple it is 24 then we have 48 it is common multiple then we have 72 it is common multiple then we have 96 it is also a common multiple so we are saying the common multiples of 8 and 12 they are 24 48 72 96 and we can find some other common multiples also now next what we have to calculate we have to calculate the lcm it means we are saying we have to calculate the least common multiple that is the out of these common multiples we are interested in the smallest value so the smallest value over here it is 24 so we are saying that the least common multiple of 8 and 12 it is 24 now the next term we have it is co prime or relatively prime numbers so we are saying if the hcf of the given numbers it is 1 then they are known as co prime numbers and it is important to note over here that the given numbers they need not be necessarily prime so suppose i am talking about the number 4 i am talking about the number 9 i am talking about the number 12 and i am talking about the number 3 i am considering these numbers if we list the factors of 4 they are 1 2 and 4 if we list the factors of 9 they are 1 3 and 9 if we list the factors of 12 they are 1 2 3 4 6 and 12 and the factors of this number 3 we have factors of number 3 they are 1 and 3 so clearly the number 4 this number 9 this number 12 these three numbers these are composite numbers and this number 3 it is a prime number now if we calculate the hcf of 4 and 9 the common factor over here between 4 and 9 it is only 1 so hcf over here we have it is 1 so by definition of co prime or relatively prime numbers we are saying 4 and 9 are co prime similarly if i am talking about the numbers 4 and 12 and i calculate the hcf of these two numbers 4 and 12 both 4 and 12 they are composite numbers and we are saying their hcf it is equal to 4 so what we obtain that 4 and 12 they are not co prime they are not relatively prime so we are saying in this first case we have both 4 and 9 they are composite but these number they are co prime as a pair they are co prime numbers or they are relatively prime to each other next we are saying when we are considering the number 4 and 12 both of these numbers they are composite numbers and 4 is not relatively prime to 12 next we are considering say the pair 3 and 12 so we obtain that the hcf of 3 and 12 we have it is equal to 3 now this number 3 we have it is prime this number 12 it is composite but if we look at this pair 3 comma 12 we are saying 3 and 12 they are not relatively prime or they are not co prime now the next term we have it is twin prime numbers so twin prime number they are defined in this way we are saying if the difference between two prime numbers is 2 then the numbers those two prime numbers they are called the twin prime numbers so to find the twin prime numbers first we list the prime numbers the prime numbers we have they are 2 3 5 7 11 13 17 19 23 and so on now suppose i am talking about the pair 2 and 3 and i calculated the value 3 minus 2 the answer i obtain it is equal to 1 next i am considering the next two prime it is 5 and 3 and i am calculating the value of 5 minus 3 the answer i obtain it is 2 then corresponding to the value 7 and 5 we have 7 minus 5 is equal to 2 then corresponding to 11 and 7 we have 11 minus 7 is equal to 4 
then corresponding to this pair 13 and 11 we have 13 minus 11 is equal to 2 and likewise we can continue in this way and what we obtain is that the difference between 3 and 5 the difference between 5 and 7 the difference between 11 and 13 all the difference between these two pairs of number it is exactly 2 so these kind of numbers they are called the twin prime numbers